hey great looks family i know it's been a while since i've done a video but i want you guys to come with me while i create a custom set of press on nails um it's just a random set that i'm doing i think this is something i want to get into is custom press on nails so i want you guys to come along with me for the journey so well, i'm not gonna make this a really long video i'm just gonna jump right into it so the first thing that i'm going to do um is top coat each hand i labeled uh left pinky left ring left middle left index left thumb and i did the same thing for the right hand um and i'm going to top coat it because i want my client to be able to see it underneath so if they take them off and just store them in the box that they're given and then they want to wear them again all they have to do is flip them over and they and they'll know where each one goes they don't have to guess where it goes uh, the only thing is with the set that I did yesterday, depending on the color, this will show through. It's not that bad, um, but it will show through. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Poochie's top coat, my Poochie's nose top coat, and I'm just going to top coat right where the where I have it labeled nothing fancy nothing fancy at all and then I am going to cure in an LED lamp for 60 seconds so after we cure the top coat we just gonna take a regular old buffer we're not gonna do anything malicious but we're just gonna buff the shine away because we will be using acrylic for this design and we're going to do this to all 10 nails i just want to take the shine away so that the acrylic will stick properly So once, once the nail is completely matte, then you know you've buffed the shine off. And we're gonna do that for all 10 nails. Okay, so before I keep going on, I wanna show you guys how my uh, packaging is gonna look. Now this packaging is a little, a little different because um, I hadn't got everything that I needed in for my press on nails. And I just got everything in. This box is a one-time ordeal, so Look at everything minus the box. So this is the box that I'm choosing to use. Then in here, I have this little mesh bag with uh, orange wood stick, nail tabs. I got everything off Amazon. Nail tabs, alcohol wipes, nail glue, in case someone wants to do it a little bit have them on a little bit longer nail glue and then I have my business card and then the instruction manual I mean like an instruction card on how to apply and take them off and I have that in the little mesh little cute little bags got it off Amazon so this is the first set that I made unfortunately because how long they are I couldn't get them both in the thing at the same time so um, I have them in two different. This is, I have marked on here. So, uh oh, drop that one. This is the left hand. This is the first design that I did. And then, uh, this is the right hand. And, it, and um, as you can tell, like I said earlier, you can, depending on the acrylic, you can see it through. I really tried my best to cover it, but the acrylic that I was using wasn't the best but i'm hoping once it's on the nail the nail will cover like you won't see that 
and it's my very first one because I know I wanted to do things a little different. Um, if they chose to give these out for a gift, I included a gift bag in this particular box. So this is how it's going to end up. I have to make another set. I'm putting this one on top. All right, so let's get into this. So I have both hands prepped. What I'm gonna do differently this time than I did last time, I am going to etch the underside of this tip so that it's pre-etched for the client. Because what I did was on that last set, I etched it after the design because I thought about it on, on the last minute. So I'm gonna go through and etch all the bottom. Okay, so now I have the under completely etched. So let's go over the products that we will be using today. Um, I, I'm not 100% certain if I wanna use a cover pink and it's gonna be a really simple, easy design that anybody can recreate. So today I'm gonna to be using, hold on, I grabbed the wrong one. Koopa, I'm gonna be using the Koopa Clear and I will be using um, a custom acrylic mix in gold that I made myself. So I'm gonna get everything prepped and ready and then we'll, I'll be. Okay, so this design is really e easy. Just keep in mind that these are press on and I had to keep telling myself this yesterday when I was working on that other set Keep everything really, really, really thin, which is the key. Well, that was the key for me and I didn't have much work to do, like filing wise. So we're just gonna do a glitter ombre. I'm gonna see how this looks to see if I need to put a cover pink only at the cuticle. I hope that I don't have to. And then we're just gonna fade this down. I don't wanna fade it far because I really wanna keep a lot of the nail clear. which I think that looks pretty good. And see with this particular one, I'm going this particular acrylic, I'm just gonna be really, try to be really smart on how I lay the glitter so that it will cover um, the writing on the back. Okay, so that is, I'm liking the way that looks. Maybe I'll bring just a little bit more down. Not by much, I don't want a lot of pull down. Okay, that's good, that's good enough for me, I like that. And then we're gonna take a really thin coat of clear And we're going to cap the whole nail. And I, and I tried yesterday a, def, uh, a ton of different ways to do it. And for me, keeping it more on the wetter side seemed to work the best. Because I don't need, I don't want a whole lot of acrylic. I want them to be sturdy. Um, I will show you the tips that I'm using in a moment. I'm recording.
One thing I like about doing it this way is the fact I can flip it. I'm making sure I keep my shape because I don't want to do much filing. As you see later, you won't see me do much filing on these because it's not necessary because I want to just keep everything nice and thin and I'm fixing the shape as I'm going. Oops, sorry, out of frame. And that's that nail complete. Listen, these um, acrylic stands that I got off Amazon, garbage. They are garbage. And I seen it when the light hit it a certain way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing again. Take a nice small bead of a, acrylic. And this is a custom mix that I made myself. I'm just gonna lightly bring that down the nail making sure I keep it I'm trying to keep it as thin as possible and it's glitter so it's gonna be more on the harder side to do but I want to make sure also make sure we're covering my um, additional signage on the back And I'm, I am gonna be completely fine if like all the ombres don't end in the same place because each nail can be different. So I'm fine with that way that ombre is. And so we will cap and clear. Yesterday I realized that it was a lot easier to hold the nail completely down and let gravity do some of the work for me. And then I just move things to where they need to. I was really excited yesterday how um, the other set turned out of course it was my very first set so there's some things that I wish I had done differently but it was my very first one um, so I learned a little lesson which is why I said let me just go ahead and make a YouTube video I wasn't gonna record because this was gonna be one of those really quick sets because there's not a lot of glitz and glam to what's going to happen to this set today. And I am excited because she's coming to pick these up tomorrow. So I take your feather back, flip it, and put just a little bit on the tip. Feather up, feather down. Oh, sorry. Try to make sure there's not any underneath because this one's a clear set. You look at it from all angles. 
happens, the smoother the application, the less work you have to do in the end, which I noticed yesterday. Okay, so I have finished applying all the acrylic. Now it's time to, let me zoom out just a little bit, shape and buff the nails. And I'm gonna do everything with a hand file. And I noticed yesterday that it was a lot easier. So I'm not gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna actually hold on to the actual nail. I'm gonna use a too cute uh, 8100 grit. I'm gonna hit the sidewall. Flip the whole nail over. I'm gonna hold onto the nail and then I'm gonna hit this side wall. Make sure everything is straight. Hit the back of this nail. Make sure to get any acrylic. On the back of that nail which is perfect. And then I'm gonna hold the nail with the tip and the base. And we are gonna run over the top of this nail. And we're just, gonna, just going to smooth out I'm just gonna smooth out the acrylic. Let me just re, let me reposition this. So I don't have to keep fumbling. Move the camera so it's functional to me not. Okay. I'm almost done with this. Hit the back here. Hit this side. And then for me, when everything is matte, then I feel everything is smooth. That's when everything is smooth. I'll look at the nail at different angles. And that nail is ready to go. Dust it off. Oh wait, I gotta hit the free edge. So I'm gonna turn the nail around as if the if I have the finger, the client's finger. And I'm just gonna knock off that little that little piece. And if you want to, you can take a drill bit. I'm gonna that little bit off and then we're good to go and then we'll move on to the next one we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna hold the nail from the side now I'm gonna have to give a shout out to all my long girl nails I mean long nail people that do this this press on industry because my nails are not on not as long as I normally wear them and my nails are taking a beating from the acrylic and the uh, filing way I'll file the, file the tip now 
now we are going to go over the entire nail. I'm debating if I'm going to leave these matte or not. Because I think they look good matte. Now, one thing I'm not going to lie, I struggle with because I'm a an acrylic nail tech I have to keep telling myself do not make them thick 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 we just want them to be sturdy because that is something that I struggle with and I have to tell myself like don't make them thick make them thick enough so that they're sturdy I will say this is not, making these by hand are, is not for the weak. Because the clip of the ones I made yesterday took me a really long time to do. That's because they were so detailed and they were a whole, uh, a million stones on there. top of it I like to go back and forth well up and down I guess for the most part because then I can see the high spots and the low spots because we want it to be an even nail and see here goes either a low spot yeah it's a low spot because the file didn't hit it I have to find a better adhesive. I just got some double-sided tape. Cause in one video that I watched, uh, the young lady used the nail tabs that you would put the, oops, that you would put the nail onto the, the nail onto the nail plate and that seemed to work yesterday. I don't know about today. Maybe because I'm really trying to hurry to get these done. Maybe I should slow down a little bit. We'll dust them off. And then we'll look at it. down it, look up it, I'm from the side, and they look good. Okay, so now they're all shaped, filed, and buffed. What I'm gonna do is take a lint-free, a lint-free wipe. Now, I didn't do this on the other ones, but I realized my mistake. Um, I realized my mistake. Give me one second. So the other the other set that I did, I did not clean with acetone. So I'm gonna um, try to be careful and clean this with acetone. Cause that'll take any, well help smooth out the acrylic for gel application. Maybe 
maybe I should have buffed the nails a little bit, but that's okay. I prefer a rougher. This one, the, do not, if you guys are doing at home press ons by on your own, do not buy this stand. This stand is garbage. And I got it off Amazon. The little, the little things that they sit on, that's fine. But the stand itself, you would think that this, the magnets would be a lot stronger and they're not okay so I've cleaned those now we're gonna pull out our LED lamp I take my bottom off to make it easier so I don't have to um, do too much I'm gonna put it on 60 seconds and the first thing I'm going to do because it's a clear the the tips are clear I'm gonna flip this over Use my Poochie's Nails polish, uh, gel polish. And I'm going to undercoat or top coat this tip because I want it to be crystal clear. And I might have to do this twice honestly because I think I'm gonna have to go up some more I clean off the excess off my brush and then pull any excess out because I don't want any any pulling to happen there we go and then I'm going to put this Un, um, under for 60 seconds okay so now I'm going to take uh, my Enel Couture Diamond Gel because we're going to put we're going to do a little bit of embellishment and this is like a top coat um, I am going to go ahead and try to top coat all of them I learned with this Enel Couture, it should be on the heavier side for the stones to work, to like adhere properly because it's like a top coat. And see, this is why I say these, this stand is awful. But at this point, if you apply stones, you can use whatever it is you choose for your adhesion of stones. I'm just doing it the easy way for today, for purpose video, the purpose of this video, to do it with my diamond gel. Because typically I would use uh, the Meerkat. Is it Meerkat? I'll look in a second. Um, rhinestone glue. Because the combination of the Meerkat rhinestone glue and um, not polished. Well, it's by not polished, not polished. Um, let me see. So. The not polish. The not polished crystal sealer gel. The combination of this with uh oh model one's nail rhinestone glue. Oh 
my goodness. They stick for days, that combination. Sorry, guys. And I'm sorry if my camera is out of focus because the camera lens, my phone camera, I want to focus on the all the glitter. I'm trying to stay in focus so you guys can really see it. Oh, I hate this stand. I ordered another another stand on Amazon. I'll show it to you in this video. But this this these magnets aren't strong enough. And this will annoy the crap out of you trying to do a full set quickly. And can't. Okay. So these are the stones that I'm going to be using. Um, I am just going to pour a few on the table. I know I'm separating them, but it doesn't to me it doesn't matter because I have when I pour them out like this, I put them in a, another container. I don't put them back. Now, I'm not to say I'm going to use them all, but. I do want them to be pretty sparkly. Because that was kind of the, the point of me doing it this way. So that it will be nice and sparkly. I try to make sure that it's semi-balanced and because it's a top coat, I'm a, you know, top coat pull. So I'm gonna wipe the corners. And then I'll stick this in the, damn it. I don't, okay. I don't have a plate on. Oh, and I'm sorry for cussing guys. So I'm gonna stick this in the lamp for 60 seconds while I work on the next one. I really didn't want this video to be super long, but it is what it is. I'm using my uh, picker up tool. I think I got this one from Amazon. It's just a wax stick pen.
go. That looks good. We'll clear the, you know, do your little wipe on your edge. So that pull might have pulled. Stick that in the lamp. I wish I had a lamp that is, um, that just constantly stayed on. Okay, so at this point, we are we we can be done because, like I said, the Nuni not Nuni Enel Couture Diamond Gel is a also a top coat. But I'm just gonna go one step farther. I'm gonna take my um, not polished crystal gem sealer, and I'm gonna go around some of the bigger stones. Just because it is, uh, this is gonna be a, a press on set, I wanna make sure that no stones are going anywhere. So it's, it's simple. I try to pull as much liquid as possible off my brush and then just go around. Each gem. And that's it. Cause like this crystal sealer, it like it'll fill in whatever gap you may have from if you know if the acrylic is or not flat. This is seal. This will seal that in. I'm sorry, I gotta get in close to my face so I can see. Another thing that's optional, you could just seal these in with top coat. But sometimes I don't like the effect of um, top coat on top of a top coat because sometimes it'll spread. And I like to um, buff in between top coats. And considering we got gems on, that's not really possible to do. And then I will cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so for now the fun part, let's package it. We are going to put uh, alcohol pads, a buffer, I mean a, a pad, I mean a, a filing pad. We're gonna get an uh, press on instruction card, how to remove and how to put it on. We're gonna get a business card. We're also going to get an orange wood stick for the cuticles. And let me make sure that was, oh no. 
we are also going to put in okay so we're gonna finish this out so we are going to put a business card we are going to put a an instruction card we are going to put alcohol pads we are going to put uh, sticky tabs a nail file a cuticle stick and glue we are going to put all of that into this nice pretty little uh, bag and I'm gonna make sure that I put it in so that my business card is on top one thing that small businesses forget to do is put a business card because if the young lady that's getting these uh, press on nails, this is already with it. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, if the tips were small enough, we would put them in this box, but this box is not small, is not big enough for these um, nails. So what we're going to do is take some cardstock and we need two pieces of it. Two pieces of cardstock and some double sided tape. Get me some scissors. Now, on um, the very first one, I did um, two, but two strips is not necessary with this particular tape because it's a pretty decent thick tape. So, we are going to Put it on so that the tips are in the center and we are going to cut that press it down and unfortunately these tips are too long so i have to package them well the packaging that i have i have to package them in separate until i can find um bigger packaging for the extra long nail tips. So now I'm gonna try to put this back because everything is sticky. I don't want no nail dust on it. Okay, so that's that. I got everything off of Amazon. Now we are going to Peel back this tape. On both. Come on. I'm gonna set this aside for a second. I'm gonna grab me a permanent marker and I'm gonna grab two of my nail bags. On the back, I'm gonna write um, right hand, and then on the other one, I am going to put left hand. So I know what is what. We'll set those aside for a second. So let's see what these stands, I swear they suck. So okay, so we're gonna work on the left hand first. So I go, I work back and forth because I want everything to kind of like be in the middle. First, I'm gonna try to get all, pop this off. There is a little bit of of the sticky tab left. And I like that I did it this way um, because before, I mean, the other set, I'm just gonna place it on here for right now. I'm not gonna push it in until 
Oh, okay, that came all the way off. Move the camera a little bit. And I don't have the tape on here, right? So. That's okay, because I'm just learning. And as you can tell, I'm not going to push them down yet. Because I'm going to try to make sure that they're all even and straight. Because that's my goal. So I'm going to try to pop. Yep, they came right off. And see, this is the sticky tab for the nail. Which I'll still be able to use when I do my next set. What's this? This is left index. One second, dude. And then the middle finger. And see, this is why I didn't push it down because I want to make sure. Because presentation is everything when it comes to a business, especially to a black owned business, you know, that they say we don't do anything correctly. This one over just a little bit more and then move this one over just a little bit more and so quite frankly let's see me see how that looks in the camera quite frankly I am okay with the way that looks so I'm going to I should have on gloves press it down into the glue I'm gonna take my finger if I got any fingerprints on there, wipe them off. And we are going to put them into the left-handed bag. And then we're gonna do the same. Okay, so this is what they look like fully packaged. I am absolutely in love with this particular set. And so this is the left hand. So when she take these off, she can stick them all in here. She don't necessarily have to put them back on the paper, but she'll be able to put them back in the little in the little bag. And this one is for the right hand, put them back in the bag. And therefore she can keep them together. So she knows what is what. Considering I already put the, I labeled each nail so that she didn't have to go back and um, try to figure out what is what. So considering that this particular order is a special order, because it's my very first one, we are going to put this in a box. Um, I have, in case she decides to gift, re-gift one set, I have a gift bag, a pink gift bag. I'm going to put the gold set Put the gold set at the bottom then the pink set on top because she's her favorite color is pink and then it's just so the first thing that she sees when she opens it is my business card because i want her to i want my customers to see that first and then we'll put the lid on it and this is my very first order for my press on nail business so like Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.